How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today it's a bit of a short, sweet, simple mission but it was an excuse. I wanted to take the uh, Mac Defense out and kind of test something out so uh, I picked the mission called Short Circuit. There's a couple of telegraph poles that are kind of blocking uh, a road in the top left really where you can go and get I believe it's metal beams and that. Uh, yeah, just two lots of service spare parts are so pretty simple. Got to drive up the middle of the map over to that service hub, grab yeah two service spare parts and then fix these. But because it's the Mac defense and it's been catching on the axles a bit, I was just curious. I basically fully loaded the truck as much as you could really. Uh, I've got a crane on it, the roof rack, a goddamn professional and I don't know, yeah sideboard, just wanted to see kind of will it scuff the axles and everything really. Um, yeah, so that was it. It was a good excuse to take this out. I was kind of not really got time to do a, uh, a bit of a fat juicy mission tonight. To be honest, as I was flicking through them, not that I necessarily mind, but these days, especially on a nice map, I suppose if you're unlocking a garage it's a more important mission, etc. But beyond that, it, the missions are just an excuse to take a vehicle out and drive <laughs> from A to B and probably B to C and yeah, so it doesn't really, I don't really mind if it's like a bit of a, a non-mission or not. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see like what the deal was with these axles. Plus, I do kind of feel, and I th it might be paranoia, but it's like they say, just because I'm paranoid, it doesn't mean they're not out to get me. <laughs> and I think they keep nerfing it every time, like a week or two after they release a phase. I Yeah, I think they usually come to the decision, like, let's just dial it back a few percent. Either dial the map up or dial the trucks down just to make it go a bit slower, which... I think from their point probably I don't think it's a good business decision but I think they look at it as like if it makes if it can stretch the game out a little bit longer it's kind of padding it out between releases and all the rest of it whereas yeah personally I like I think it just makes the something feels a little bit off after a while it's one of them where if you if you got it like that originally it probably wouldn't feel too bad but when you just got this gut feeling that everything's been dialed back a bit um, and I've driven this Mac Defense and again to be fair I have I've got it fully loaded in that but then I would also say I've driven trucks in this kind of setup and they've felt stronger than this I certainly wouldn't say like tonight particularly in that and uh, yeah I just the last week or so it feels like they've uh, tweaked something a little bit I kind of felt it with the Kenworth 963 uh, the both Zixes felt just again they're relatively still top end of the game it's just they still feel like they were not quite what they felt like a week or two before and then yeah this one as well but like I say it was the axle I just wanted to see if it like if the axles catch if it sort of hits the bottom when it's fully loaded <laughs> that's definitely what she said uh, well there you go it's already taken a bit of fat damage there uh, off god knows what a route probably um, oh yeah let's pause it at my bloody cat I don't know, it, like, I've got laminate flooring, so there's no carpet. And he has these cat yogurts. But if you put them on a plate, they weld themselves to a plate after a while. I just put it on the box that they come in, and then he eats them. But then he sits there scratching the floor for 20 minutes. <laughs> like, not burying anything, he just thinks he is. And, uh, yeah, he was just loud. <laughs> Pause the game, he's like, dude, you're not even achieving anything. But he tries, bless him. You just have to pretty much snap out, snap him out of it. <laughs> just be like, scruff. And he's just sort of like, oh, what? I'm, um, yeah. He's going to dig his way through the ground one day. Um, yeah, that was it. Sorry, that was just why. A quick pause there. Uh, yeah, cut, cutting through here is a little bit. To be fair, it's quite a rough section, this. Slows down some of the, uh, the bigger vehicles in the game. But yeah, this Mac Defense, again, overall, I still like it to a degree. It's nice that it's a fairly usable truck in that sense, but... I'd at least say, I wanted to double check because I used the roof rack on it the other day or week or whatever it was. I probably won't be using the roof rack anymore. I just, as I was kind of doing this mission tonight, I knew it was going to be a, a short mission. If I did it, say, you know, like a Tager or a Dolphin and tried to speed run it, it'd be like a 8 or 10 minute mission or something. So I knew I had a little bit of like, I can take a truck that it's going to take a little bit longer. And yeah, just test a few things out. I was curious to see if this will catch, last time I drove over them uh, a step deck was catching on these telegraph poles but not this thing see in certain places like there it's looking like oh the power's doing alright, it's in high and all that it's places like here that just doesn't feel like it did the other week or I'd even go as far as to say 
let's say if I'm just imagining it all and it was always set to this level of power or whatever, you'll see coming up in a second it just doesn't play out as... I don't know, I feel like the game robs <laughs> your engine power. Like now, you're here, I might have got beached on a rock, but can you hear how the revs have just completely died and gone? And it's almost like when you get stuck on something, all the power dies off, but then say when you winch and get off that way, you'll hear the revs pick up once you've got off the rock, and I sort of get it, I know once the vehicle's moving more the revs are build, but do you know what I mean? I kind of feel like, and I've not driven a truck, but I've driven cars etc and vans and all sorts, and I kind of feel like if you're in the lowest gear and you're just flooring it, you release the truck's going to be making some noise, <laughs> it's going to be putting some effort in, you're going to be wheel spinning it, or doing some damage to the guts between the diff and the engine or whatever. I'm not a, an expert, but I sort of have a rough clue. I did. I did kill a Peugeot once. Um, yeah, but it just, like, you can hear again, I have to keep using my winch. It wouldn't even drive forward through that swampy bit. So now I tried reverse, and it can't even push that tree over behind me. Here, like, look, <laughs> I'm flooring it now, and it sounds like I'm on tick over. I may as well be. I basically am. And then now... Oh, typical, sorry, there has to be a little glitch. Um, but as soon as I'm kind of moving because of the winch, suddenly you hear the revs picking up, but by then it's like, <laughs> where were you, revs? Um, yeah, and it just feels the way the game, like, I want the engine I've paid for. I'd put a weaker engine in if I wanted a weaker engine, but I sort of don't. But that section is a little bit awkward, but I do think this was a little bit of a uh, underwhelming show on that one. But for the most part, as long as you can get in high gear and tickle on at this speed. Happy days. <laughs> I don't feel like the game's trying to push its luck too much. Like I've said before, as long as it sort of feels roughly organic, like at least back there it was a swampy section, etc. But... Um, yeah, I think like I say I'll, I didn't strictly have to bring the crane because I'm auto loading cargo. I did bring it on like just to fully load the truck, and I thought well I've got the option if I do spill the cargo or whatever while I'm messing around and testing a few things. Um, but yeah, I, the roof rack I definitely don't think I'll have on anymore because I actually do think that probably does do some kind of measurable disadvantage to this truck. It, again, just gut feeling. I could be wrong, but I kind of feel like it does, and it definitely does it with some of the scouts. Um, not the truck so much, but I sort of feel like this one is getting it a little bit. And then, yeah, the crane lighter. I probably would uh, leave off if I could help it as well. The goddamn horse, gotta bring him with me. You never know. When you don't need him, he's just along for the ride, but when you need him, you're like, goddamn, I'm glad I brought a horse. Yeah, I kind of feel like even cutting through these sort of sections, that this just had a bit more of a fluent pace to it the other week. But it doesn't feel horrific now, it's just the fact that it feels different is to the point that's sort of what it flags up in my mind when I'm driving it, and yeah, I'm not too sure. Again, I just sort of, this is quite a nice way to cut into here, and thankfully these cars move, because back in the day on quite a few maps, the cars are just stuck solid, but every car I've hit so far, and I, I don't know why, I think it's from playing Grand Theft Auto V, like, that's my best guess, I just like to smash into everything. Oh uh, yeah, so just quickly, to its credit, even though the crane, if I extended it, it dropped now, but it was actually fairly hassle-free just whipping the loaf out of there, put the two uh, service spare parts in, and then yeah, I've got to lean back, because, ow. Um, and yeah, these service bear parts, just for what it's worth, are quite narrow. You've got to be pretty precise popping the old loaf on. Easy does it. Nailed it. He's on. He's got that professional. It's not his first time balancing on service bear parts. And yeah, apologies. It was, say, a glitch, but I saved the footage and just... Sometimes it's like misses the next three seconds odd or whatever so if I drive off too quick it just lost me pulling out of that 
<laughs> That's what she said. And even, I will say to this thing's credit as well, I've got like, uh, the chain door muds. It might be the actual truck's uh, normal muds, I think. Or it's the unique muds, I should say. Uh, yeah, I will say to its credit, with a loaf sat on here now, and it's got a crane, and it's got a roof rack, it's actually respectably not tippy at the minute. And I mean, I like taking the loaf anyway and all the rest of it, but there is little situations like this where having a loaf on top or, you know, it, it, it exaggerates some of the characteristics of the truck. So it's actually, other than I would do it anyway when I'm just dicking around and I like taking a loaf for me in it. He's done me well. <laughs> so he's earned it. But it actually does help, like, yeah, kind of eke out some of the characteristics. Like I say, exaggerates them a little bit. I can sort of tell this isn't the most tippy of trucks. Just because it wouldn't, like, even going around this corner, I'd have to be tiptoeing it a little bit more. You can see there, in fact, I kind of give it a bit of welly in it. I was ready to kind of fire a panic winch out on the inside and all sorts, but yeah, if anything, it more kicked the back end out. So, in that respect, it's, uh, that's nice. Oh, sorry, I'm getting absolutely nailed with glitches tonight for some reason, considering it's just a pretty short, simple video. Yeah, that's the bit where if you cut around, if you actually remember, it goes a lot smoother than just driving, like, through there. It's some, I'd say, like, death mud, it's actually pretty ruthless but it's cool that they sort of left a little there is like a, almost a secret path around the side and the fact that you see loads of dead trees there you'd normally think oh hell no like I'll get caught on the trees but they're actually one of the f uh, they don't really do anything I don't think I've ever got caught on them touch wood I don't want to now they'll fire out the map and annihilate my truck one day um, yeah, so like I say, you've got these telegraphs laying across the road. I was just curious. Now I'm here. But you can see now it's around the point where it's sort of at least stage one of throws the towel in, where it, you now you are dropping down to low range and all the rest of it. It's not the end of the world. Like I said, I've said it before. Making videos and just wanting to, like, not... I don't know, it's an element of like not wanting to use as much of people's time as... Yeah, I don't want to take the piss. I like to get it, the video sort of done in a relatively timely fashion. If I can help it, I admit, I do go off on some loaf-based tangents. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to test this out and see. Um, it basically, it got its front wheels over, but it couldn't... The rear axles just got wedged on it and again I apologize I think it might have actually this the worst thing with the glitch is it does it in the like half a second of footage I wanted but there's it's I don't even know how it knows that it was that bit of footage that I wanted it could have glitched 99% of any other bit of the clips <laughs> and it'd be fine but it managed to do it like the two or two or three little uh, points that I could actually do with the footage. Um, yeah, when I reversed back over, that's what, all I was going to say is like it made it over in reverse because it got all three axles over and then the front one. Uh, but this is like the loaf fell off. It was I shouldn't have even winched it when he fell down. I should have just left it. But he tipped off. But then when I dragged him and he hit that telegraph pole, I swear the winch isn't just. I suppose if I had a stronger truck, the loaf would like bounce and flick his way up over that telegraph pole, whereas this didn't even have the guts. To do that, so I sort of had to winch to the middle. I'll say the footage are going a bit mad. It's them. I've got like rubber, the the non-brand version of control freak things, like rubber things that go over my analog sticks on my remote, and just when they fall off, I was trying to kind of mash it back on there, and I kept hitting the horn. But yeah, I still like this truck, and I still like the Kenworth. The Kenworth, so unless. I've driven it since I feel they've kind of maybe dropped everything a few percent, but it still feels all right. Yeah, I still don't hate this truck or anything like that. I mean, this what this video was for. It was a bit of like a fully loaded sort of test, and yeah, in the scheme of things, I've had better vehicles that once they're this loaded up, they still handle it a bit better. But there's a few, a few plus sides. Yeah, the non-tippiness, not bad. I mean, a loaf is a good little example to do a loaf boost. I couldn't get over this telegraph pole, so sort of zombie winch. Well, not even really zombie winch, but winch the loaf. Hold the button down so it drives up behind me. 
Gives me a boost, lift that, lifts the axle up, and we're over. And then he gets over. He's trained for such situations. So then, yeah, I was like, right, <laughs> enough messing around. We'll drop it off. And then, yeah, now the telegraph poles finally move because the first one didn't when I dropped that service spare part off because because I've not finished the mission. But now they should be out of the way. Um, yeah, money wise, not terrible for a pretty simple mission. But that was it. It was just to test the Mac defense. But yeah, that's about it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Thanks to our Patreon members. Get us up a loaf because he's a whopper. And I'll be back soon.